Yo, what is good homies, welcome back to our final nines game with this West Tigers rebuild. We won't be advancing to the quarterfinals. After suffering a narrow defeat in the first game, we ended up getting spanked in the second game by the Melbourne Storm. In this final game of the nines, we'll be looking for our first victory as we take on the Broncos. So I've had the game for about three days now. Uh, it won't show in this video, but I'm slowly starting to get the hang of defense. Also in attack, I'm starting to notice the shapes on offer. I've noticed that you don't really have to um, choose a set play because they do run it randomly sometimes. There will be times when you actually need a specific play to get through the line and uh, that happens in this game actually. Another thing I've noticed is that you have to be on your toes for most of the game. It's so easy to miss time a pass from dummy half. So what I like to do from time to time is just let the, let the slow play the ball happen while I try and figure out what I want to do in attack. It's funny because in attack you have to be on your toes and in defense you have to be patient. All in all it's been a difficult learning experience but the process is super fun. In my opinion it's easily the best rugby league game to date, maybe rugby in general. As we throw a forward pass there, a perfect example of mistiming your pass and I was uh, a little hesitant in attack and we paid for it in the end. As Boyd makes the break here, Teddy on his heels gets the ankle tap and he's finished off by Brooks. Quick play the ball as they go to Milford, stopped centimeters from the line, another quick ball and we have to D up here, solid defense so far as uh, Sims tries to muscle his way over but we hold him up. Back on the third here, as they throw some quick passes, they get it out to Boyd and he's gonna step around Idris I think that was, it's either Idris or Woods but it's great footwork at the line by um, Darius Boyd to score their first try of the game. Alright, so after a little shanked kick by Hunt, Broncos are going to keep a 4 point lead as we return the kick here with James Tedesco, a great run, made it to our 40, as we go short here to Idris, cut out ball to Nangama, and he's going to get wrapped up just inside halfway as the Broncos give away a penalty here, I haven't tried playing for that held in a tackle penalty, I'm assuming it can't be exploited in this game as we throw a beautiful inside ball to Chris Lawrence. There's always going to be space in the nines, and there was a great line that was run by Lawrence. We're in a pretty decent position to score our first try of the game. With a tackle up our sleeve, it's the fourth and last here. As we send it wide to Tedesco, and he puts it on the toe. We accidentally grab it for a second time, but we do get the try nonetheless. Almost butchered it, but uh... Yeah, it was a decent try, we just outran the forward. As Tui adds the extras, and we actually take the lead here. Five minutes into the game. Back at the kickoff here, and McCulloch makes the mistake of taking the head up, gets absolutely dropped by um Lolo Hair that was. Off the error, we spread it to Taylor, gets around one, and he gets the goose step going as he crosses the line for our second try of the game. An excellent run by our captain, showing a bit of footwork there. I was surprised he actually stepped past defenders, seeing that footwork just made him a potential strike weapon for that side. We don't have many in our forward pack. Aaron Woods comes to mind, he's probably our most uh, our most impactful forward, he tends to go on devastating runs from time to time. Anyway we're back in attack here, a couple of minutes before half time, Lawrence to Taylor puts him through the gap, beautiful ball there, as he gets tackled just outside our 40, slow play the ball, as we go to Lolo here, and he just outruns a forward once again, an excellent run by our 5 -eighth. Fourth and last, as we use the shape to the right, we get it out to Woods, drops it under to Lawrence, throws the wide ball out to Taylor, with the footwork once again, puts a grubber through, the kick wasn't long enough but it was some adventurous play on the last, that's pretty much the kind of plays you want to see in the nines, spread the ball, try and isolate players and uh, try and get those side steps going, as we return into the second half and we're going to start off with a penalty. A stupid error to start things off. I was stoked about nailing the kick, then I looked at the wind and it was too late. It was definitely going to go out on the full. So it's the Broncos attacking our right edge here and Sims is going to stroll in for an easy try. I was holding on to LT with Nangama, tried using the controlled movement and he ran straight past him. Alright so we're locked at 10 apiece. Broncos on attack, 16 minutes into the game. As uh, Milford takes the tackle here, just outside our 10. They've got Corbin Sims there, one off the ruck. They go to Sims, bumps one off, gets the goose step going, and he's going to score a second try of the game. 
<sighs> a late try to the Broncos puts them in the lead as Ben Hunt converts it and they're going to go up by six points. There's about a minute and a half remaining in the game. We need to desperately make something happen or else we will end our campaign in the nines without a win. As we return the ball with Idris, find space, tackled outside our 20. Inside the final minute, looking for plays as we get a little here. One on one with the forward as he gets past him with the footwork. Wrapped up by Boyd as we run the play. With Boyd at the ruck, no one at the back. We drop it inside to Tedesco. As he slices his way between two forwards, no one at the back. And we execute a beautiful set play to win the game. I was so stoked to actually pull that off, especially for a game winning try. As we score in the bonus zone. The kick from right in front to pretty much seal the deal as we narrowly get past the Broncos in our final game of the Auckland Nines, 17 points to 16. After a decent start in our first game, a lackluster performance in our second game, we finally get the win in our third game. As the players embrace here, it's a pretty dope looking cutscene, haven't actually paid attention to them. Looking at the full time match stats, on paper it was our game to lose. James Tedesco picks up man of the match, as always, drop the like button for more content. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you later.